Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Check it out. Here we have the Lexan B4FM Bluetooth intercom system. This is a dual pack, so there's two in there so you and your buddy can talk to each other. This is how it comes packaged. Links will be down in the description to everything. Um, some of the specs here, 15 hour battery life, Siri and S voice capable, noise canceling, 1.2 miles intercom range, water resistant, 10 mile or a 10 rider conference, sorry, music sharing, which is really cool. Um, 36 millimeter HD speaker, and these models have a type C uh, quick charge and speaker port. Um, you'll see this model has the X on it. Um, I did a review on a previous model, which this one has a little helmet for the intercom, but um, this is the new updated version. So let's see what you get inside the box. So here's how it comes packaged. We've got the two units, kind of a little comparison before the old ones. Pretty similar. This is where you're going to have your type C port instead of just the little headphone jack. Here's your charging on the bottom again as type C instead of a mini USB. Then other than that, the functions are the same here. So we have two of those. Let's pull this whole thing out here. Show you what else you get here. I'm zoomed in a little for far for it. So here's a really cool mount that it goes into. A little bit different than the older version. So that will just slide right into there. There we go. Nice positive lock. That's really cool. I like that. Sticks in very well. So you get two of those. Here's the bottom part of the mount. Kind of a clip that bolts on. Here's some mounts kind of like the older version that I have. And here is your speaker systems and manual. That's all that comes in this package. I'll take one of these speaker setups out so you can show you what's going on. Now I had people ask me questions on my other video if you can um, use this with a open face helmet and you can that's what this mic here is for so you stick it on the side of your helmet or whatever and you can put it around the front now if you don't have open face it comes with this one that you can stick to the inside of your helmet which is what i did on my other models so it comes with a type c charger and again, here's your headphone setup with the type C plug on it. Speakers that will go into your helmets. And then if you are not using an open face, you'll just disconnect that and hook up the inner helmet one, I guess we'll call that one. So we've got two of those packages. Um, this other pack here has some Velcro stuff. So this is what you're gonna use to stick your, you can use it for these to stick it in the back. Like here's some spacers in case you got a lot of space in your helmet. And here is a little Velcro. I'll go on to here, probably to hold your wiring in place. I haven't looked at the manual yet, but that's my guess. So um, let me get one set up here and we'll show you. Okay, so mounting. Um, here's your mounting bracket. So like I said, you can use this one here, which is sticky back and you'll stick that onto your helmet and then this will clip into that. So, but if you don't want to do that, it comes with this one here, which clamps on, which has that mount is in here. But so you can bolt this on and, and clip it onto your helmet and it comes with a spacer. So that will fit, oops, that will fit into there. Then that will fit onto there for a wider helmet. You got more space in that. And then um, it comes with this little stick called a dismount stick. So once you have this in place, you can push this down on here and that will push that in so you don't have to force it up off of there. Um, and then it comes with a spare rubber thing for here, or I suppose if you need a longer one, you could double them up on there as well. So there's how you'll mount that. Um, this here is to help hold this. So that will lock in. You can kind of help hold this into place. So if it doesn't want to stay put, 
a little bit of extra um, support. Um, obviously, this here will just simply plug into the speaker port on the back, up or down, whatever way you need it to go, piece of cake, and then your buttons. So this will be your intercom button, this will be your power button, this will turn it off and on, it'll help with, with phone pairing, It'll answer and reject phone calls, turn on and off radio, and in intercom, intercom talk. The up button, um, auto answering phone system, volume up, next song, last number redial, scan up, clear pairings, you, which are combined with this. Um, the down button here, volume down, previous song, scan down, check battery life, activate phone voice assistance. And then the intercom button here will enter pairing mode as well. All right, guys, I've got the speakers plugged into these units. So to power it on, you know, press and hold these. And it says power on. Power on this one. We're gonna we're gonna bind them up here. It says battery 100%. Power on. Battery 100%. Okay, now that they're now that they're both on, we're going to pair them up. So you're going to look for hold down the pairing button, intercom button, till the lights flash. Now it's pairing, pairing, searching. 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 Pairing successful, they said. So now they're connected. Very easy. The manual is very clear on how to do these things. Works very well. In order for one to talk to the other, you just simply push the intercom button. And there it connected them. Test, test. Am I talking to that one? I can hear the speakers on here. I'm talking to this one. Test, test, test. Goes into the other one. Then you'll press the power button to uh, end a call. So to make a call, there they're connected. To end a call, anybody can end it this way. Ends the call. Okay, if you want to pair it to your phone so you can listen to the music on your phone or whatever, while the unit is powered off, you'll hold down the power button until the blue and red lights flash and have your phone ready in Bluetooth uh, window and you'll look for it to show up. There it's pairing. Device just showed up in my phone, so I'll click on it. Device connected, it just said, boom, paired to my phone just like that. Piece of cake, guys. All right guys, so some other features. It says here you can pair to your Bluetooth GPS navigation, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't have anything I could hook it to, so uh, you'll have to read the manual on that one. But uh, volume up or down, a long press of the volume up or down will prompt, and it'll tell you when it's hit max, it'll beep. You can only adjust the volume when you're playing music, listening to the radio, intercom mode, phone call, etc. cetera. Um, pause or play a song is the power button. If you're listening to like Bluetooth songs, to change a song, you will double click the up button for the next song. Double click the down to go back for the previous song. To answer a phone call, you'll click the power button to answer a call when a call is coming in. Auto answer the incoming call automatically within 12 seconds when the phone call is incoming, and which you can preset off and on. Then to end a call, Click the power button as well. To decline a call, double click the power button. Turn the radio off and on. Just hold this down for a second. We'll turn it on. Holding it down again for a second, we'll shut it off. Um, to search FM radios, double click one of these buttons to go forward or back. You can store up to six FM radio stations, which is pretty cool. And then there's a bunch in here on universal pairing, which I don't have anything to do that to, so you can do that if you need to. Um, group intercom pairing, three-way pairing, four-way pairing, um, a bunch of other options here. Okay guys, let's say you want to share music from one unit to another. 
Um, you can't share radio, but that wouldn't make sense. You could both tune in the same radio station regardless. So what you want to do is your first one, whoever's going to play the music is going to be connected to their phone. They're going to be playing music. I don't know if you can hear it. You probably can't, but it's playing music here. So what you do to share music from whoever's playing it to the other person is you both have to double tap the power button. Now it's pairing. There it connected. Now music is coming out of both speakers from your initial one. Now if this person wants to end listening to this music, they'll X to cancel that and then that's done. So this person is still listening to their music. Okay, so I got the unit mounted on my dual sport helmet here. Unfortunately, the way this helmet is, I could not get it to clamp in. Um, on my street bike, street bike helmet, you can. So that's why they come with that sticky one. So I just stuck it there, locks it in place, piece of cake, get the speakers installed and go for a rip and let you know how it works out. But So that's how I installed it on mine. You can put it up here higher, however you want to do it, or on the other side, it's all up to you. So. Okay guys, I got it all installed. I just routed the wires around into the into the foam here on the inside and the speakers inside. And the mic is in the front in here with sticky. And went for a ride around the block. It works great, easy to use, goes plenty loud. Pretty happy with it. Um, links will be down in the description if you're interested in some of these things. And I recommend them. You go on a long ride or whatever, it's just kind of fun to listen to some tunes and, and just go, you know get in your own little little world there. Okay, so I got my son's helmet and I used the other mount on his because it fit on this one. It looks great, it works great. I routed the speakers inside. We got the mic in the front here. I just poked a speaker inside here on each side so we can communicate when we go on rides. Um, it's just what I needed for stuff like this. So. You know, if he's following too close or coming up to a corner too hard or there's something to look out for, uh, I, I can warn him, you know. So just the touch of a button, I can control it all from my side once they're paired up and on. And yeah, it's awesome. I'm very stoked about this. Um, keeps us in contact and keeps him safe. So if you're interested in something like this, uh, follow the links down below in the description. If you want to find out more info, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, if you have a set and how great they're working for you or not. And if you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe. And let me know, you know, that you're new here. And I appreciate you hanging on the ver to the journey with me. So that said, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for stopping by.